guide on how to install the Columbitech MVPN Server Virtual Machine. My name is Carl and I'm a software engineer working for Columbitech. What you need in order to follow this guide is some sort of virtual machine software. In this guide I'm using Oracle's VirtualBox, which is a free software that you can download from virtualbox.org. To, to be able to test the server, you will also need to have an MVPN client installed on a separate computer or device. So, let's get started. Find the virtual machine over file on your host computer. It's right here. Uh, you can either import this in VirtualBox or just double click on it if over files are associated with VirtualBox, which they should be by default. Okay, here we go. We should just be able to import this straight as it is. Uh, the import itself should be pretty quick depending on your host. Uh, I'm using a MacBook Pro here for 2017 version or something like that. And there it's finished. So let's check some settings just. Uh, we want to check the display settings. Make sure we have the scale set up here. I have it at 200% uh, because of the high resolution on the screen. So let's check the network here. Yeah, um, it's a bridge adapter and I'm using Wi-Fi here. So if you're using uh, an Ethernet cable or something like that, you will want to change this to the correct adapter. Okay. So let's start the machine. Select the first option here. Wait for the system to boot up. Okay, here we go. The login here for the root account is Columbia Tech 2020. Okay, we're in. Let's see. The first thing we want to check is what uh, IP address we got here. So. Okay, I got 192.68.113. Uh, let's go check the admin interface for the VPN server here. So, and the login here is admin and then Columbia Tech 2020. Okay, here's the settings page. Uh, we have General settings, DHCP, authentication, VTLS, uh, as well as status and logs here. Uh, and over here we have user settings. One of the first things you will want to do perhaps is to either just change the password of the admin user or you can also add a new user. Uh, you have the roles here, the administrator role has access to everything including creating users, while the users here only have access to server settings and is not able to create users themselves. Uh, okay, one of the things you want to check here in your environment is that um, the DHCP settings look correct for your own environment. So here we have um, this should be set to what the IP address of the VPN server is. And gateway looks fine. This range will work here. DNS is fine also for me here. So save this. Okay, you can also choose to use an external DHCP server if you want to do that. If you want to have an external DHCP server on your network, assign addresses instead to the clients. Next we can look check authentication here. The default for this uh, test um, virtual machine is to just use simple authentication and the username is demo, password is demo, domain is demo. So we should now be able to log into this machine from, um, from a separate device. Okay, I'm going to uh, edit to um, this server's 
address and I'll connect so I'm writing here on my other computer here username demo password demo domain demo okay now I'm connected so let's check the status here users and here we see here is my device I logged in right now it's last active the physical IP of my device and the virtual IP here so okay uh, that's basically it it's a quick start guide in order to set your client up you will need to install the CA certificate on your client which uh, uh, you can either download straight from the server or it uh, should be provided with you for you uh, with the download of the OVA file so you will need to install that certificate and set up your client with the IP address that you get on your uh, in your own network environment uh, well that's pretty much it for me thank you for listening and um, i hope you're successful in following this guide and running some tests on your own vpn server environment thank you bye bye